Okay, here are solutions to perfect problem two for math 211. There you go, blow it up a little bit. Um, so we're adding in Babylonian here. Um, and in Babylonian, what you need to know is that this little symbol means zero and that this symbol means 10. I'm writing these in a weird order. This symbol means one and this symbol means 10. And you also have to know that in our place value system, these are ones, these are 60s, and these are 60 times 60. In other words, the 3600s place. I guess you don't really need to know that it's the 3600s place, you just have to know that they're in a base 60 system. So anytime you get 60 in one column, you carry one over. Just like with our numbers, anytime you get 10 in one column, you carry one over. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. I have a bunch of these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these ones. So what I could do is I could take ten of these guys. Ten ones is the same as one ten. So I could change that into this guy. And then everything else I'll just bring down. So this We'll just copy from up there. And these one, two, three, four, five, I'll just copy from up there. And leave my ones place like this. And you might be like, yo, you can't leave. You might say you cannot leave your ones place like this. You need to carry some stuff over. You're right. I'm gonna do that in the next step. So on this first step, I'm just gonna look for groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like I have another 10 here. And I'm gonna carry, or I'm gonna bump that up to a 10. I got one, two, three, four, five more of them. So I will bring those guys down. Um, and then in this column, I don't have enough to do anything fancy, so I'll just bring them both straight down and get here. Uh, but this is not my answer. And the reason that this is not my answer is now I have six of these tens, and six of these tens right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, make gives me 60 in this column, which is the same as one in this column. So I'll bring this guy over here. Say this turns into this. Uh, so this one just stays here and gets brought down. This 60 turns into a one over here. And then in this column, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have exactly six. Uh, all right, yeah, I guess so. Uh, so all of these guys will get carried over to this next column and turned into one over there. And so the logic is 660s is the same as 1 3600, or you can just say 60 of this column is the same as one of the next column. Uh, and so I have nothing here to carry straight down. And I have this blue guy and this blue guy. So this. would be my answer. Uh, this is just an intermediate step. So okay, let's do that again, but now with subtraction. I want to do some subtraction here, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit hard to do. Let's see, I wanna take away four of these triangles. I only have three triangles up here, uh, but that's okay because I can change this 10 right here into 10 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is now gone and I have all these guys in its place. And what's nice now is from this one I can subtract this one, from this one I can subtract this one, from this one I can subtract this one, and maybe from this one I subtract this one. So what I have left over are all of these guys. and I've taken care of my ones column. Now I wanna take care of my 60s column. Um, I can't do the same trick because I don't have enough here to subtract these guys so I have to borrow. And so the way I'm gonna borrow is I used to have a one here. I can get rid of that and add on six 
over here. And that's because one in this column is the same as 60 in this column, and six of these represent 60. And after doing that, I can subtract. So from this guy, I got rid of this guy. From this guy, I got rid of this guy. That, and what's left over are those. So I, don't know, I guess these are green. I would write this. And then I have nothing in this column because I used to have one and I borrowed from it, so it's currently gone. So this here would be my answer. What about multiplication? Well, multiplication is pretty tricky. Uh, multiplying by 10. So this symbol that was 1, when I multiply it by 10, I can think about it as changing it into a 10. So this 1 changed into this 10. This 1 changed into this 10. This 10 changed into 10 of these symbols. So, yeah, I don't know if I should change color or what. I'll just write them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what happened was these guys came from here, and these guys went to there. Um, I can do the same thing here. Uh, actually, I have the exact same symbols here. So when I multiply them, I'll get something that looks the same. I get that the two, that these two changed into these two, and that this guy changed into 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No significance to the fact that I'm writing them in two rows. It's just I don't have enough room to write them all. Those went there. And then this 10 times this one gives me a 10 over here. So now what am I going to do? Well, I don't want to leave my number like this because I have to carry things over. Uh, what I have to do is look for groups of six. So here I have 12 of these tens. So I have 120. 120 ones is the same as two 60s, so in this column. So I have nothing left over in this column. I represent that with this little zero here. And then all of these guys turn into these two right here. And then the same idea here, all of these guys I'll have to carry over and they will turn into two over here. And then this guy doesn't need to carry anywhere because I don't have more than 60, so it just comes right back down, goes there, and this ends up being my answer. Um, and I guess that ends this problem, so I'll stop the video here.